Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you five tips that have enhanced my vaginal health. If you're someone that struggles with UTIs or BV or yeast infections, or you simply want to learn new ways of taking care of your vagina, then this video is for you and you want to make sure that you stay all the way to the end because these tips have really helped me and I just want to share them with you. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Tip number one is hand washing my underwear with antibacterial soap and hang drying them before I toss them in the hamper. Our underwear is probably most likely our dirtiest article of clothing and it just doesn't make sense for me to toss it in the hamper and just letting, you know, bacteria fester. Let's just be honest, discharge is just a part of being a woman, but at the end of the day, bacteria is bacteria, and I don't want that sitting in my underwear until the next time I do laundry. It just makes sense to me. I just want to wash out my underwear and keep it clean, so that's tip number one. Tip number two is using soaps or cleansers that are specifically designed to clean your vulva. Yes, vulva. I don't want to say vagina because... Your vagina is a self-cleaning um, organ, whatever you want to call it. It's self-cleaning. You don't need to be putting anything up your vagina, like douching, to cleanse it. But that's just a whole nother. That's a story for another day, okay? I'm talking about your vulva, the everything outside of your vagina. Using specific soaps to clean that. Not body wash, not bar soap. And you want to do this because... Not all soaps are pH balanced for your vagina. Our vagina is on the pH scale, it's around 3.5 to like 3.8 if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that. So our vagina is pretty much on the acidic side. So if anything is way more acidic than what it should be or way more alkaline than it should be, it will throw off your pH balance. So you want to make sure that you are using washes or cleanses or cleansers, sorry, that are specifically made to clean your vagina, your vulva. See? I almost, I almost said the wrong thing. My favorite cleanser at the moment is by Honey Pot. They even say on their label the, um, the pH of their product. I also know of another brand called Aloe Curves. I'll leave all of this in my description bar if you are looking for um, a, a wash for your vulva. <laughs> Um, I'll leave everything down below because we gotta know these things. I'm just looking out for y'all. If we're using something that's too alkaline or too acidic, it will throw off our pH in our vagina. And that's how we run into problems. So you want to make sure that you are using cleansers or soaps that are specifically designed for that area of your body. And tip number three is just ditching washcloths or whatever you use and using our hands to clean our vulva. I don't want to say vagina. We already talked about this because our, we don't need to be putting anything up our vagina to clean it. It is self-cleaning. She's good. She's good. She doesn't need any help. But you want to clean everything else like in between your labias and, you know, your vulva clean. So, I haven't always done this. I pretty much always use a washcloth to wash my body. And a couple years ago, it just... I don't know if I read it somewhere, I can't remember, but all of a sudden a light bulb went off in my head and I'm like, this doesn't make sense. <laughs> Why am I using a washcloth, even if I did use like a separate washcloth for my body and another one for my vagina, that kind of made me feel a little bit better. But at the end of the day, a washcloth is a washcloth. Unless you're using a different one every single time, which I don't recommend because that's just like, why do you want to make more laundry for yourself? But, at the end of the day, a washcloth is a washcloth. It is exfoliating your body. Dead skin cells are getting trapped up in there. You're hanging it to dry. Moisture, bacteria, it's just... And then you're going to use that to clean your vulva. I just... Don't do it. I'm telling you. Wash your hands first. Make sure your hands are thoroughly cleaned before and after you cleanse down there and keep it pushing. I'm just saying, your vagina is probably one of the most delicate parts of your body and you don't want to expose it to unnecessary bacteria for no reason. For no reason. I guarantee your washcloth probably has more bacteria than what your hands do. I'm just saying. My fourth tip is for women that are sexually active and that is peeing and making sure you wipe yourself down after you have sex, okay? 
Peeing is important after you have sex because it decreases the chances of bacteria entering your urethra and causing a UTI. We don't want that. So I don't care if it's the middle of the night. I don't care if you're so, so tired. Go to the bathroom, pee first, and wipe yourself down. I know it sounds like common sense, but you don't want to be laying in all these juices and whatnot. You just don't. Your body will most likely thank you later. <laughs> Before I get to the last tip, if you are finding this video useful, please give it a thumbs up for me. It just lets YouTube know that you're finding this video insightful or valuable, enjoyable. And YouTube will do its part to circulate it to people who need to see it. So I really appreciate it. Thank you. Let's get on to the next tip. My fifth and final tip is not sleeping with underwear on. Especially if you are somebody who retains a lot of heat and you sweat in the night. I know my body, I've always been like this. Ever since I was younger, I just retain a lot of heat. When I sleep, my body's just hot. Always hot. So don't sleep with underwear on. Just let her breathe. If you're sweating and it's just, you know, sitting there for eight hours, that's just breeding bacteria. You don't, you don't want it down there. I'm telling you, you don't want it. But if you're the type of person that doesn't like to let her vagina breathe and be free, to each his own. Just make sure that it's cotton, that you're sleeping with cotton underwear on, and it's breathable. It's loose nothing's tight and that's all the tips that I have for you guys today I hope you guys enjoyed this video I enjoyed sharing it vaginal health is something that's really important to me women's health wellness you guys know this it's really important to me so I want to share all the things that I've learned over the course of the years with you guys because honestly I had to learn these things myself by myself I mean nobody told me these things nobody said anything <laughs> about this to me I pretty much had to learn these things as I got older and as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!